Hey everybody, it's your boy Mr. Night Spider, and it's another uh, late night of me not sleeping, so I figured, hey, why don't I get one of my toys that I have lying around, open it up, unbox it, and do a review. So here we have uh, Transformers Titans Return uh, Mon XO. I don't even know how to pronounce that, honestly. So the headmaster is Mon XO. Whatever. And Wolfwire. So that's the actual combined. It's Wolfwire. Uh, you see here Titans Return, uh, Transformers on the side. You have a, a graphic of him in, you know, mid cap decapitation. And then on the side, you have the same art. And then on the back, you have a quick bio. Feel free to read that or pause it, whatever it is you want to do. Um, good to go. And then you have the complete robot mode, uh, his headmaster or Titan master, whatever you want to call it. And then you have his beast mode. And then you have his, um, all these beast ones that don't triple change. They usually have like a cockpit or something for it. And then on the side, you have <coughs> basically a uh, deluxe Voyager and leader class. So all the heads are interchangeable. Uh, you could get, uh, you could buy separate Titan masters. You have Mind Wipe, Astro Train, and Soundwave. I just picked this one up today. I'm excited to do that one. So stay tuned for that. So without a, that's enough from me. Let's get this bad boy cracked open and see what he is all about. Be right back. All right, guys. And here we have Wolf Wire out of the package packaging. My English is going out the door. Like I said, it's late. Um, I usually forget this, but just as again, here is the trading card it comes with, uh, the same graphics that you see on the packaging, and then they give you the stats of Wolfwire and Monox or Monox, whatever the hell it is. Anyway, <clears throat> so you get, um, two accessories. You have a sword, which is awesome. I think this is like probably the most awesome accessory because... It's functional for both uh, robot mode and beast mode. You have this epic cannon. And the smartest thing they've done in this line, or the dumbest thing they've done, first and foremost, is they always put these, like, hollow parts on there. So when you hold the gun, usually it, most most of the figures is like that. And you have this hollow point in there. And then you can put, like, a, a Titan Master in there, which is it's stupid. So this one's smart because they did the opposite so he just has like this epic looking cannon which i love <clears throat> anyway let's put those aside for now and then take a look at the titan master oh this one's on there tight <clears throat> so there is the head sculpt you can see they just kind of they painted it but they just painted the whole face red they didn't try to separate it or anything but i mean yeah looks good but I wish they kind of maybe broke this up a little bit, but that's okay. Whatever. It is what it is. <clears throat> and then you get the little robot mode, which is, uh, let me get that. Come on. Come on. So you get the standard, um, ball joint on the, on the head and they got the ball joints on the arms. And then you got the legs all held together. I've noticed something very interesting, which I'm going to note on here right now. <clears throat> Depending on which line you get of the Titan Masters, um, they're held together differently at this point. Like this one, it looks like it's held together by friction of some sort. But then if the ones you buy separately are actually, you have a pin and you have a pin and the, the whole construction is better which is kind of sad because you would want the head of the, the, the particular bot you bought, you want, got with it to last longer as opposed to the ones you buy after the fact lasting longer. So anyway, but that's my thoughts on that. So anyway, so let's get this guy back into his robot mode or head for the robot mode and take a look at the figure. <clears throat> now this particular figure is, um, in my professional opinion, awesome. So you have, it's kind of stiffer on the head, but if you rely on the, the ball joint on the Titan master itself, you get 360 degrees rotation. 
can't really look up or down. 360 degrees on the arm. You got a swivel here, and then you got a hinge there, and then this doesn't move at all. I mean, it, from the transformation, it kind of moves, but it's kind of fixed in location. And the same on this side. Um, you have a waist swivel, uh, 360 degrees, but since you have some kibble in the back, you can't go all the way around. You got a single jointed knee, and then you have an ankle. It kind of, you could say kind of rocker tail. It's not a ball joint, but you could get a lot out of it. So it kind of works in its favor. <coughs> Excuse me. So I like the chest. Um, it's, this portion here, this chest plate, is painted yellow. So it looks, actually it looks like this whole, this whole thing is painted. So you got gray paint, you have yellow, and then you have uh, like these little blue accents. So they put a lot of paint work into that and it looks cool. Um, this piece actually, I don't know why it opens up. And it looks like originally it's like a, some sort of darker color as opposed to, I don't know what color it is. And you can see where the, the yellows are different. But it still, it still looks good. I like having that. I mean, a lot of this line so far, you're, you're losing. You're getting a lot of paint missing here and there. So it's nice to see them add a lot of paint on one of these figures. Um, this part is plastic. This plastic part is yellow. And actually, this is not painted either. It looks like that's how they assembled it somehow. Because I don't... Look, yeah, yeah, screwed together. So, yeah, that went in, filled in these gaps. And they screwed it together. The only thing you got on there extra is you got a little bit of white paint here, and then you have the Septicon logo, and that's on both sides. You're also getting some paint on the paws, which are used for transformation. You can see there it's kind of like the blue's kind of getting through the silver. Okay. And then you got some paint here and here, kind of some ventilation stuff going on. And then you got paint there, there. So there's a lot of paint on this is in contrast to like the rest of the line, a lot of the other ones I'm seeing. So that's good. I mean, that gets me excited. Um, I also like that this guy has, a, his joints are very, I wouldn't say extremely tight, but compared to some of the other ones I've been seeing, he's got some tight joints and that's, that's awesome. That makes me happy. Like it's a solid figure and I'm very happy with it. And then, you know, some kibble and then not too much hollowness either, honestly. This is a win. This is a win. So, that's uh, Weird Wolf, or Wolf Wire. And I just I just really enjoy this figure so far. Like, very solid. Very legit. So, without further ado, let's get this guy transformed into his, uh, his beast mode. Okay, so getting into beast mode, let's get all these accessories out. Including the head. Pop that off. Now... I would say the, the first thing to do, the quickest thing to do, which this is awesome. Like, I love when they put slot into it. This portion, there's like a tab there and a tab there. Pull, it pops open. And then the hands, which you can see why they don't move now, just kind of folds into it. And then you close it. Cool, right? That's pretty awesome. I'll do that on both sides. Mm -hmm. Careful not to break it and get a little overzealous on this. Cool. That part's done. And then you could, uh, you'll, you'll see how the paws go out in a second here. Next, get this head up. And then you see there's a tab there. It's going to connect in there. Bam, bring it down. Get the head. Bam. Now this back portion, there's a little area here. It's going to open up. And then, as you see here, it's going to lift. See how there's uh, two hinges there? It's going to lift. And these tabs are going to lock into here. And that's going to go in there, like so. Then you're going to close that. Bam. And you can kind of see how the rest of this is going to pan out. So you kind of straighten his arms out. Rotate those around. And bam. Got paws. Looking pretty pretty badass I like to say and then the legs these are actually pretty simple too these things un the pins here 
See that? So you just kind of untab that, bring them forward. And once again, you can see there's like two hinges in there that kind of fold it up. And then that would be the back legs. These yellow portions are going to fold in. Rotate those around. And that's whatever. There's two ball joints here and here. So however you like it, it's fine. And then you have his beast mode right there. Looking nice. Awesome, awesome storage. Tail plugs right in. Can't get more legit than that. Cool. Good stuff so far. Now, let's get the Titan Master. Get this guy into uh, robot mode. This portion is going to open up. Yep, if I can get my... Let's get it open. Of course, this is going to happen on camera. There you go. Bam. And you can kind of see where his arms are going to sit. Just kind of slide him in there. Oh. Hold on. I got this guy in there all ratchet. There we go. Get him in there like so. Close it. Bam. Got him stored. And the beast mode. Looking badass. And you get a lot of articulation with all these joints. This You probably get a lot of poses you can do. That'd be cool if you can... Maybe if you, like, take the guy out and you can maybe use that double hinge to get some, like, abdomen articulation. Okay. So, so far, you got storage going for you. Now, this little guy, his head is on, like, a little ball joint. You get 360 degrees. You get a little wiggly-waggly, but you give more look left and right than up and down. Unless, I guess you can... Use part of that transformation and get a howl out of him. Woo! See there, you got um, it's like some Energon beaming blades for his teeth. That purplish color, that looks pretty badass. And then you can actually see it kind of in his eyes inside here. That's pretty cool. I like that. <clears throat> now the cannon, there's a lot of options for this guy. For starters... Peg here, plug the cannon there, go for that look, which is pretty cool. Running around with a cannon. Or you could peg it into his side arms here. That way. That way. Or that way. And that, you know, could apply for all these. Bam, bam, bam. Or, which is pretty cool, <clears throat> which makes the most sense if you were going to put a secondary mode for a, um, or a secondary option for storing the, the Titan Master, is you plug the cannon up here, and then you sit Homeboy in there. So, pretty cool. So, I got, this is probably one of my favorite of the, of the Beast ones that they have so far, out of Bone Crusher and Mind Wipe. This guy is so... Just well done. Well done overall. You got nice articulation, nice molded details, decent amount of paint, and tons and tons of options for the transformation. So I would definitely give you guys a green light on this if you're interested in buying it or you're looking for one or if you're looking to order one, go for it. Wolfwire is legit or Weird Wolf, whatever you want to call them. So feel free to comment and share your uh, experiences with this or if you... Uh, or if you're waiting on getting it or wanting to get it or, you know, whatever your thoughts are, I don't care. Share. And most of the time I will comment back. I'm pretty good about getting back to people that leave comments. And yeah, if you like this, please like it. Please share the video and subscribe if you enjoy my content. And say, I'm, I've actually reached a milestone. I've uh, so I got over 100 subs on my uh on my YouTube channel, I'm at 103 subs, over 100, and then I just broke a thousand on my Instagram, so I'm going to be doing a giveaway at about 500 subs on my YouTube. So I'm going to do a give. I might do a giveaway midway. So I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are. Um, I'll give you guys more details on a follow up video. So uh, this is a Night Spider Collector. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting, and have a good night. Peace.